I'm on stage, actually, right after the performance of Carmen, our second performance on Saturday night. And it's been an incredible evening in the theater. One of the wonderful things about my job is that I've watched this entire process through the rehearsals into the final dress rehearsal and the opening night. So each subsequent performance needs to grow on the success of what has preceded it. And I can safely say that Saturday night has been incredible. We had a wonderful opening night, but we have two more performances where we can even get better at what we're doing as a collective team creating Carmen. It's a grand, grand opera with many, many moving parts. And of course, it is an opera filled with beautiful melodies, beautiful choruses, great music for the orchestra, but most important for me, tremendous drama. The drama of an unfettered spirit who does what she believes in to the very, very last. And this is the last scene. The roses that were strewn for Escamillo become the bed of death for Carmen. It's one of the most fantastic operas in the repertoire, perennially fresh when you have a great cast, and we do, and the great Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra. You have only two more opportunities to see it, this Friday evening at 7.30 and this Sunday afternoon on the matinee. And so don't miss Carmen. It comes around, yes, every five or six years, but this one is very special. I hope you'll join us.